I like insects, yeah. but I feel like I would accidentally um, unalive them. Unalive? <laughs> yeah, I, I, on, on accident. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jungle Jordan. We are here at the Cincinnati Zoo. I have been here once before, 2019, for an AZAC conference, the Zookeeper Conference. I'm really excited to be here today because we have some special encounters. Maybe one of my favorite animals we're going to see today, actually my actual favorite animal. And I feel like my lips are cold because it's wintertime almost, pretty much. It's November, but it's like 30 degrees outside. I'm freezing. But let's go in. Hi, how's it going? Hi, how are you? Good. Good. What is your name? Who are you? I am Michelle Griesinger. I'm a senior keeper here at World of the Insect at the Cincinnati Zoo. World of the Insect. So this is the, one of the coolest buildings I've ever been in. Can you tell me a little bit about the about this building? Sure. It was built originally as the very first independent standalone insectarium in 1978. Oh, so it was the first one. Very first. That's why they in won the so States. many awards and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're kind of we pride ourselves on that quite You're a bit. the pioneers of the Ex insect world. Exactly. In and it is, it's tricky. Yeah. Insects are tricky to work with, but they're really, really fascinating. I never so. would have thought of myself working with insects because I like insects, yeah. but I feel like I would accidentally um, unalive them. Unalive? <laughs> yeah, I, I, on, on accident. It can happen sometimes. They're small, mm -hmm. you know. You, you've got to be really delicate with what you do, and they're they're tricky, but they're they're really cool and they're really fascinating. And each one is a little bit different than the others. So. How long have you worked with insects? I let's see, going on eight years, a little over eight years now in mm -hmm. this building. So. In this building, yeah. have you always worked here? Like this is this your only destination you worked? I've worked here, and I worked for another company doing uh, streamwater surveys with macro invertebrates, so testing okay. for water quality, basically using insects. So, so yeah. insects and bugs, that, yeah. that, that's your thing. Yes, it is. Bug lady. Okay, yep. <laughs> so right here in front of us, uh, one of my favorite pieces one of my favorite exhibits in this building yeah the leaf cutting ants yes can you tell us a little bit about them of course so these guys are from central and south america and a lot of people think that they forage and they go out and which they do but they don't eat the leaves that they forage they actually cut leaves so they'll climb all the way up trees cut leaves into itty bitty little pieces that you can kind of see in here and then they'll bring it back to the nesting area which is what we're looking at here and they have a cast system. So they have different sized ants that do different jobs. So they have a queen, they have soldiers, they have itty bitty tiny guys who chew up those leaves and they have workers who will actually bring those leaves into the nesting area from the foraging area basically in this building. Mm -hmm. So when they bring the leaves here, there's itty bitty little ants that'll chew those leaves up and the fungus in these boxes are actually what they farm. So they're not eating the leaves, they're eating the fungus. So they are growing their own food. This fungus is only found with this species of ant in the whole world. Wow. So it's, wow. it's pretty amazing. Without these ants, it wouldn't you know, exist at all. So I noticed that, that the tube length, it looks really far for these little itty bitty ants. Like, is that a yeah. far distance for them? For them, no. Out in the wild, their colonies would be much, much larger. They really don't have a ton of space to expand much more than they are in population size. So what they do is in the wild, they would go all the way, you know, far, far distances, mile or so mm -hmm. to cut these leaves that are perfect for the fungus garden. Mm -hmm. And so what the tubes do, it allows them to travel that distance to cut the leaves that they need. And we change the leaves out every single morning for them. Oh, wow. So they get fresh uh, cuttings. Sometimes they'll, they'll cut stuff that we give them. Sometimes they're way particular Picky. and they won't. But then they bring them back and it kind of allows them to exercise that natural behavior that they would do in the wild. So that's super cool. Yeah. These, these, I really love these, these ants. That's, that's, I don't know why they're, they've always been one of my favorite ants. And so with that, what do these insects mean to you? Like Ugh. since you've stayed with them for so long, like what, what does yeah. that, what do they mean to you? Like, do you get, do you have a connection with the insects? I do. So mm -hmm. I am, I am I mean, you have primary... a fly flying in your head I, right I now. It's like, they're, clearly <laughs> they're connected to you. Like... <laughs> yeah, the, the fly whisperer. Okay. Uh, yeah, I probably smell from, you know, all the work, but it's okay. okay. It's okay. So I'm primary keeper of beetles, millipedes, and cockroaches. Okay. Beetles are my passion. Mm -hmm. I love all insects. I love them all. But beetles have a special place in my heart because they are so diverse. Color, defense mechanisms, some are flying beetles, some are ground beetles, you know, they just, they vary mm -hmm. so astronomically between 
biome to biome, basically. Um, but yeah, without insects, we wouldn't be here. They pollinate our, you know, our gardens, our flowers, our crops. They help to decompose dead things and leaf litter and all of that. Like that is why we have forests. Right. Um, without them, we the world would not be what it is. So. I have a huge appreciation for the for the little guys. Oh, so, yeah. It's all about the little guy. It is. Well, Michelle, <laughs> thank you so much for yeah. your time. I, I really appreciate uh, you kind of impromptu stopping by <laughs> to help us out. They don't know about this. Um, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Well, thank you. Actually, I have to get to my next thing, but yeah. thank you so much. You're very, very welcome. Bye. Bye.